These Congolese refugees, who the authorities estimate to be more than 400, crossed into Uganda on Wednesday morning as fighting between the M23 rebels and DR Congo government forces continued in Rishuru town in North Kivu province. Kisoro Resident District Commissioner Shafiq Sekandi says there are more than 11,000 refugees camped at Bunagana border and at the Nyekabande Transit Center. In the last eight weeks before, there was no fighting and many of these refugees had gone back home. They had the entered their houses, they had started digging, and now the war has broke out again. Uh, by yesterday, we had received uh, 5,500 at Nyakavandi Transit Center, and six, around 6,500 who are still stuck at the border in, in Bunagana. Meanwhile, the relocation of refugees from Nyakabandi to permanent settlements in western Uganda is ongoing, although many refugees have refused to be taken there. I'm seeing a lot of resistance from the, the asylum seekers who come from Congo to go to the settlements. One, they raise issues of insufficient food, they say land is no longer fertile, they say there is water scarcity, and of course in the settlement you have to dig. Some of them have been used to free food in Nyakabandi. Officials of the United Nations Refugee Agency UNHCR in Kisoro say they need more support to manage the ever-increasing refugee population. We have also more than 5,000 people in the primary school in the border in Bunagana, plus the market 5,000. It means that on the Bunagana border, we have around 15,000 people, plus 5,000 in the trade center, 25,000 people around here.